What's up? Four right there. Anyway, uh, the draft is over, sadly. Um, preseason, yeah, uh, training camp, preseason, and the regular season is coming up. And, uh, if you guys saw our video about the, uh, before draft video of our, uh, regular season, regular, eh, regular season prediction video, uh, I believe I was 13-3, he was... 12-4. 12-4. Um, so, we come to do it after draft, because believe it or not, rookies actually do have an effect on the game. For everyone. Every team. That is true. Teammates and every, yeah. So, uh, let's get started. Week one, we face the Washington Redskins in our in the very first Monday night football game of the 2016 NFL regular season. They have Josh Norman. They just picked him up. And they drafted... Josh Doxson, wide receiver. Okay. Is, is he wide receiver? Yes. Okay, okay. Um, yeah. Let me send a message. Josh Norman is a cover corner. I'm sorry, he's a zone corner. Usually a lot of zone corners have very good uh, safeties, like Richard Sherman. He has Earl Thomas III and Cam Chancellor. Exactly. So, um... Last year when Norman was with the Panthers, he had Kirk Coleman and whoever their other safety was. But so, he had help. Now, every good uh, corner needs help, but in Washington, I haven't seen too much of their safeties. So, it's going to be all him. He's going to be too exhausted, and he might get, you know, burned or demolished all day. So, um... He may not end up being what he was last year. And with all the good uh, receivers that he's got to face in the first few weeks, which is Antonio Brown, Des Bryant, and Odell Beckham Jr. I'm excited for Odell, by the way. Anyway, uh, I say that's a win. Yeah, I, ha I, ha I have us winning uh, against the Redskins on Monday night. Week two, we face the Cincinnati Bungles. Credit to him for coming up with the name. Thank you. Yep. Um, this game, we uh, uh, we will not be facing Vontaze Burfecht, but w who we will be facing is our two main prospects, which is William Jackson III and Andrew Billings and Tyler Boyd, Boyd from, from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh last year. Um. Screw the Bengals. That's a win. Trying to get under our skin. Trying to beat us any way they can. But usually they've always been failing. As a matter of fact, they've been fa been failing throughout the past 20 years. So, yeah, I have us winning that. All right. 2-0 to start for both. Week 3, we face the Eagles. Uh, the second overall pick they drafted. Carson Car Wentz. Carson Wentz. And the second overall trade away five picks, which was pretty dumb. They basically got rid of their future. But it he may actually be worth it because he may may. may very well be the future for the Eagles, like Don, Donovan McNabb was. But then again, like you said, he, uh, Carson Wentz is going to be half, like possibly the next Donovan McNabb. So, uh, against the Eagles, it's a win. Yeah, it's a win. I mean, their defense may be better with Jim Schwartz since he is usually a very good defensive coordinator, but I think our offense can be able to handle uh, the Eagles. Handle a good defense. Well, not good defense, I'm sorry, but a decent defense. Week 4... Our very first Sunday night football game will be against the Kansas, Kansas City, City Chiefs. Chiefs. We face, I think it's our third straight year facing them, maybe fourth, whatever it is. Um, they have, they a, have a pretty good defense. They have Justin Houston, Tom uh, I think they have Derek Johnson as their middle linebacker. I think so. Uh, they have Marcus Peters. They have Marcus Peters, uh, Eric Berry, and uh, what's the other corner's name? Sean Davis. No, didn't he go somewhere? Yeah, he went to Oakland. Sean Davis went to Oakland. Oh, okay. But anyway, we don't have... Yeah, uh... I say a win on this one. Uh, I have us... As a matter of fact, I have us losing to the Chiefs. I think they'll have our number. I, th I think we're going to lose to them. They have a pretty good defense. I think their offense may somehow be pretty good. Their offense is here and there sometimes. But still, I have us losing to the Chiefs, but... It depends on how they are. If the injury bug struck them a lot, and yeah, uh, week four we face the New York Jets. Now uh, they drafted what's his name, Christian Christian Hackenberg, and uh, Darren Lee. Uh, their quarterback situation is still going on. Yeah, they, trying to get Ryan Fitzpatrick maybe for a year, but long term. I don't, I don't see it happening. Uh, if they don't get Ryan Fitzpatrick back, they're, 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 they're most likely going to start Geno Smith. But they have faith in Hackenberg, then they're going to start him. But for this one, I have us winning this game. But here's the thing. They have a pretty good defense. Now, we usually play good against good defenses. Like Denver, Seattle. 
Yeah. Uh, I might have to agree with you. A win? A win, yeah. Okay. So, Which, she's 5-0, and out, I'm 4-1. and one. Uh, Week 6, we faced the Dolphins. They uh, picked up... Uh, Laramie Tunsil. Laramie Tunsil. With his gas mask. Anyway, uh... Uh, they have uprising def uh, uprising offense. They have a pretty. They have an okay defense with a heck of a defensive line with Cameron Wake, and Dominican Sue. They have an uprising QB. They have a heck of a receiver core. Well, not heck, but their their receiver core is pretty good. They have a pretty good running back. Uh, who who's their running back? They got didn't they get rid of Lamar Miller? Yeah. So who is their running back? Um. Really doesn't matter. I wouldn't worry about it. But uh. I say a win on this one. I say a win on it, too. Week 7, we face the Patriots. That's a win. Why? Because I'll give two strong, valid points. When we face them week 1. W week 1 last year, when we faced them. One, we lost because of Josh Gobey missing two field goals. And two, Hayward Bay didn't get his feet in. Foot. Or foot in, yeah. I'm sorry, but... If, if one if, of those goals were to be accomplished, we would have won. We have the power. We have the ability to beat them with Brady, Grunk, Elliman, and Amendola. I mean, Dola. So, so that's you, a win. So you have us winning? Winning. I hate the... Oh, I, oh, God. My hate for the Patriots is... I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't hate them? Besides Patriots fans. But this is Oh, Patriots fans watching this. Now this is you probably get this all the time. What what was the quarterback's name after Brady? Or before Brady? Yeah, just a little QA. Like, yeah, of... no matter. Uh, but, um, mm. wow. when I say we start seven oh, dang. I have us going six one. Uh week eight is our bye week. Week nine we face the Ravens. You know what? I say we split with the Ravens here, and I must say that's a loss. Hold on, can I say this real quick? Hold, hold, can you hold this for me, man? Right I want to say this real quick. If you guys seen our Eric Weddle video when he signed with the Baltimore Ravens, we got every notification we get from that video. There are countless, I mean countless, freaking comments on, oh, the same 5'11 Ravens that swept the Steelers twice last year. This, the we, the injury bug struck us, but we still swept you. We beat you three times in a row. Eh, the Ravens are better than the Steelers. Who cares? We beat you too. Countless times. As a matter of fact, did we take you out of the AFC Championship game with great Tasmanian Devil Troy Palomalu getting a pick six for us? What the heck did the Ravens ever do to the Steelers to take them out of the playoffs? Besides the uh, wild card, but who cares? I mean a championship game. By the way, uh, th in that video we had, what, 31 dislikes compared to 14 likes. Most of the dislikes were from Ravens fans. You know what? Don't be commenting. We, 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 we were the most injured team last year, and we still beat you. Dude, we hit, the injury bug bit us, like, extremely bad, and we still made it to the divisional round. Not only by the, not only good to the players, but to the coaching staff. Oh, oh. And didn't we beat you with Charlie Batch a few years ago? Correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't we beat you with Charlie Batch? Oh, yeah, we did. It's Charlie Batch. Possibly one of the best backup quarterbacks of all time. Well, Steelers. But anyway, by the way, the only reason why we made the video is because... Now, I've said this countless times to Ravens fans. The fact that Steelers fans messaged him all over social media, wanting him to come to... Pittsburgh, and that he went to their rival. Doesn't that say something? Just saying. But anyway, we lose to the Ravens here. I have us. I have us beating the Ravens. Screw Baltimore. Week ten, we face the Cowboys. Did this we... is going to be an interesting game. Sorry if I interrupt you, but this is going to be pretty interesting. Because we have count a bunch of family and friends who are big Cowboys fans. Um. This is actually, I said this countless times, this is my pick for game of the year because uh, this could go back and forth. And, and any time there's a Cowboys and Steelers game, you're in for a good treat. I don't matter if, if they're the two worst teams in the NFL. You're in for a good game. In my opinion, the two best, the, the best rival in Super Bowl history, Steelers and Cowboys, it will be the Steel Curtain versus the Great Wall at Dallas. So in this 
this week. It's a win. I say a win as well. So we're both 8-1 game. right now. Uh, week 11, we faced the Browns. Uh, honestly, I just want to get this off my chest. Um, don't be surprised if the Browns upgrade this year because they have Hugh Jackson as their uh, head coach, and he's a hell of a coach. And uh, didn't they have, like, what, 15 draft picks this past, uh, season, this I, past I, draft? I, I don't keep count. Any time that they were offered a trade, they took it. You know why? Because it gave them more draft picks. They gave them more good players. Exactly. So, don't be surprised if they upgrade, but I'm going to say a win on this one. I actually have us winning against uh, uh, Cleveland. This is at the Browns, too. Uh, week 12, Thanksgiving night. Uh, Hopefully, yeah. we can get some cold turkey. Get it? Cold turkey? No, cold turkey. Yeah, you get it. Um, yeah, I'm going to say a win on this one. Win on Thanksgiving. We've uh, For the past two two years, we've done pretty good against them, so I say we, we do can it do again. it three, three straight years. Week 13, we faced the Giants. I'm going to say a loss on this one. Just because... Why? Because they were, what, the 32nd ranked uh, yeah. defense last year? Yeah. And um, usually when we faced bad defenses, they do good against us. For example, so, Baltimore. So I'm going to say that happens again. It, it, it's like a curse. Like the Jets, it's, like it's the Jets like a, two years ago. It's, it's like a tradition. It's like a curse on the Steelers. Like, you do good against good defense. You do bad against bad defenses. You lose to all the teams with bad records. It's like a freaking curse. Anyway, uh, I say we lose to this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm actually gonna say, uh, wow. I have us losing. So we're we're two. both 10 6. 10 2. We, or 10, wow, why did I say 10 6? 10 2, yes. Uh, 14, week 14, we faced the Bills. I'm gonna say a win. Because we usually. Like I said, we usually do good against good defenses, and they're not too bad of a defense. So yeah, they do. Me, they have an uprising quarterback. They have a heck of a running back. They have, they have some pretty good receivers. They, it, they have a heck of a defense. And in this game, I say our offense does pretty good. Same with our defense. This game, I say a win. I say a loss. Loss. I say a loss. I, I think the Bills will get us. They might. Uh, we. So I'm ten three. He's eleven two. Week 15, we face the Bengals. You know what? I say we sweep the Bengals. By the way, this is a Sunday night game. We sweep the Bengals. Screw the Bengals, man. This game, honestly, I'm coming extremely close. Matter of fact, I hate the Bengals more than I hate the Ravens. But I respect the Ravens. I don't respect the whole Bengals team because some of their players are extremely nasty. Like Vontaze Perfect. Pac-Man. I, yes, Pac-Man. I do respect some of their players, like A.J. Green and uh, Andy Dalton. Heck, even the running backs. Some of them, yeah. But I hate them and their fan base. I respect the, the Ravens because they actually show sportsmanship. Now, they may freaking claw and hate each other, but at least they respect each other. Yeah, definitely. But this one... It's a loss. I think they'll have a number. Alright, he's 10 4. I'm 2. 12, 12. 2. I'm 12. What is wrong with me? Um. Yeah. Week 16, we face the Ravens on Christmas, on Christmas Day. Day. You know what? Throw out the turkey. Throw out the ham. How's about we get some fried raven? That's a win, baby. Hopefully Santa can give us this great Christmas present so that that will be a win for us. So and I'm 11-4. He's 13-2. In week 17, we face the Browns on New Year's Day. You know what? You know what? I might switch that up. I'm going to say week 11, they beat us. In week 17, we win. So, really? Yeah. So, week, so uh, my record is 13-3, uh, depending on his decision on if we sweep the Browns or not. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go back to the Bills. Thinking about it more, I say we 
win against the Bills, and we beat the Browns. So both our records are 13-3. So my record stayed the same. He His kind of increased. I increased. That's our uh, prediction. Um, We will put a link to... We will put a link in the description to the website we used for uh, uh, the... Predictions. Yeah, the schedule predictions. So if you want to do your... Do one of your own for your favorite team. Go straight ahead. It's pretty fun, actually. Uh, you can actually save it. You can post it. You can share it anywhere. So, uh, yeah. Uh, by the way, every season is always affect. Every I'm sorry. Every game is always affected by injuries and losing records. And their gameplay. And yes, and we have a history with of losing the teams with losing records. So hopefully that can stop. I'm, I'm hoping. I don't see it happening. I'm sorry. But, uh, it's, like I said, it's like a curse or something. But, um, yeah, every game is always affected by wins, I'm sorry, by injuries and losing records. But, uh, yeah, this upcoming preseason, uh, regular season, postseason, training camp, all that stuff, we'll be posting about it, uh, coverage, you know, our reactions, previews, predictions to not only Steelers games, but, But um, every, every other game every week. Yeah. So uh, it'll be fun. Uh, like, comment, subscribe to uh, see more of that. Stay tuned for that. And um, always wave the terrible towel. Go Steelers! Peace, guys.